Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here. Today's video, I just wanted to quickly talk about um, paid keyword tools. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be SEMrush versus ChatGPT. And I just want to show you something interesting really quickly and why I think um, you probably aren't going to need to pay for keyword tools for much longer. So I, had, I saw a video about SEMrush's keyword manager, uh, which gathers keyword clusters ready made for content marketing plan. Fantastic, right? In theory, you're going to put in a keyword, a seed keyword, and it's going to give you a bunch of keywords related to that seed keyword in a way that makes sense for you to build out your website, you know, from a content marketing perspective. Fine. So I tried one, that's why it says three. It was so bad I had to delete it. Um, so I just tried two more just to get a, just to get a better idea of what uh, this tool SEMrush gives you. Now, Ahrefs, I believe, has their own semantic uh, keyword tool. I don't use Ahrefs, I use SEMrush. Keep in mind that this tool is uh, about 100 and probably 30 US per month versus $20 US per month uh, for the ChatGPT uh, paid plan. So the main, the main keyword was moving to New Brunswick and then the four other keywords were living in New Brunswick, things to do, uh, and New Brunswick travel, right? And so gave me 36 clusters, right? Most of them not at all relevant you know, New Brunswick, Canada map, not relevant. Ville de, Ville, Ville de Nouveau, New uh, Brunswick, it's French, it's not relevant. New Brunswick PMP, not relevant. Vehicle registration, not so relevant. I mean, semi relevant, but enough for its own cluster, not at all. AIP New Brunswick, not relevant, right? Uh, New Brunswick border, not relevant. So out of the 36 clusters, right? Festival Moncton, uh, out of the four, 36 clusters, Maybe two or three are relevant enough to actually uh, to actually focus on, and then if you do pick one, right, it gives you three keywords, right? Moving to Nova Scotia, and actually it's New Brunswick, so I just read that wrong, and it's just completely irrelevant. So this sucks, right? Okay, fine. Maybe it's a tough maybe it's a tough uh, a tough keyword. Let's just do New Brunswick as a whole, right? So New Brunswick as a whole. Let's say you have a site about New Brunswick and you want clusters, content clusters for content marketing. The first cluster it gives you is things to do in Fredericton. Fine, right? That's pretty good, right? Practice permit test for New Brunswick. Practice permit for what? You know, not so relevant. New Brunswick motor vehicle. As a cluster, this makes zero sense, right? Again, French. Written driver's test online, which I think relates to this. So now you're just going to have two competing clusters, right? Vehicle license as a cluster. Registries motor, registry motor vehicles as a cluster. This makes zero sense, right? Overall, this is just garbage, in my opinion, uh, for these keywords. For what SEMrush claims to offer is keyword clusters ready-made for a content marketing plan. If I was in content marketing or I followed this based on Sem based on what SEMrush recommended, you're not saving hours of manual work, right? You're not, it's not, it's not doing any of this. Um, so, yeah. Keep in mind, this is a tool that costs 120 US per month. Anyways, I'm done bashing SEMrush. In one of my last videos, you saw that I made a, uh, a quick uh, GPT, Epic Keyword Tool. Basically, you put in uh, a keyword for this tool and it's gonna give you a list of uh, keywords broken down into uh, content hubs in, in, G in ChatGPT's uh, view from least competitive to most competitive, right? So immediately after you put in the, the and I'll, I'll, I'll go through this in a second, you know, live. After you put in your, your, your uh, keyword, super broad, not even things to do or travel or living in, just super broad New Brunswick. It gives you a bunch of hubs right off the bat. Tourism and attractions, culture and history, festival and, festivals and events, local food specialties, right? Fantastic, that's not bad. Um, and then under tourism and attractions, boom, it's got everything related to New Brunswick, uh, which is what you wanna see. It has very specific uh, options, Fredericton, even locations, as well as things like covered bridges and lighthouses. And if you go and search, New Brunswick covered bridges. Look, so there's already uh, interest for that, and you'll see there's in, people want covered bridge uh, content. Google wants to share that content, so it's it's highly relevant, highly useful. Culture and history. It's things that people are going to be looking up that you can use to build out um, content hubs and like legitimate content hubs for your site. Uh, a little bit less here, but again, you could just ask ChatGPT to expand or to get even more particular, right? Uh, moving to New Brunswick and how the GPT works. And I'll pause for a second. It's going to run through all the, it's going to run through the tool. 
It's gonna give me a list of content hubs related to moving to New Brunswick. From here, you can pick and choose which ones you want uh, and add to your spreadsheet or, or add to ChatGPT to actually start creating content for. But, and there's my site, uh, but you have legitimate keywords that make sense uh, for content hubs you would want for a website about New Brunswick. Of course, for content hubs, you can even ask this ChatGPT, give me 10 content hubs for a website about New Brunswick. For example, moving to New Brunswick would be one of them. And then now we're gonna see what kind of sub content hub that gives for us. What you don't get, um, so what you don't get with ChatGPT, which really isn't that important, uh, I don't think anymore, is things like volume and keyword difficulty. So keyword difficulty, depending on how long you've been in SEO, you'll be able to tell how difficult the keyword is based on the results. And the volume, again, volume, basing your keyword research and content strategy over these two metrics, keyword difficulty and volume, it's just not, a, it's just not really how you wanna be doing things anymore. So for example, um, without this information from ChatGPT, you can just take these keywords and see if people are looking for that stuff, right? So C Martin C Caves, for example. If there's results for C Martin C Caves uh, and blog posts, right? It's TripAdvisor, it's Tourism New Brunswick, my competitor, right? So there's demand for this content. You don't necessarily need to know uh, how many people are searching it in order to write the content for it. If it's relevant enough and you're using ChatGPT and AI to create content at scale, just write the content. And I'll pause for a second while this uh, while this populates and jump back into it in just a minute. Okay, um, so just jumping back into the um, content hubs for the keyword from uh, ChatGPT here, it really went uh, it really went niche, right? Which is fine. You're not going to get the same results every time from Epic from Epic Keyword Tool from uh, ChatGPT from these GPTs, but it did give me a number of amazing content hub ideas, right? Cost of living and real estate, general overview and reasons to move, cities and living areas, public transportation. And then from here, right, and all these are, are really good keywords, right? From here, you can then have ChatGPT. You can just pop in a ChatGPT and say, um, uh, for example, if, they're, if it's moving to New Brunswick, you can say, give me 25 blog post ideas based on a content hub for real estate and accommodation related to moving to New Brunswick. And then in literally seconds, it's just gonna give you 25 blog post ideas, which you can then just cross reference in Google and, uh, and see if there's an actual, if there's demand for them and if you can uh, compete. And just looking at what it's come up with so far, these are amazing, right? Affordable neighborhoods, uh, New Brunswick rental market, investing in New Brunswick real estate, the best schools near New Brunswick top uh, residential areas. So incredible ideas here for a content hub on your New Brunswick site, which you're just not gonna get on a tool like SEMrush. Uh, that's the video guys, uh, hope you found it helpful. As always, let me know down below if you have any comments, critiques, suggestions, or if there's anything you wanna see in the next video. Had a few requests of people wanting audits and help with their site, so there is a link below if you wanna book a call with me. And yeah, thanks again, and we'll see you guys in the next video.